Let's say you want the indefinite integral of x to the power 1 of 4. We add 1 to the power, so this becomes x to the power 5 on 4, and then we divide by that power. So we divide by 5 over 4, and we need to add the constant as well. Then we can write this as 4 on 5 times x to the power 5 on 4 plus c. The reason we add 1 and divide is because we know when we differentiate, we multiply and then subtract 1. So when we uh, find an indefinite integral or an antiderivative, we reverse this process. So in general, we can say the indefinite integral of ax to the n with respect to x is equal to ax to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, where uh, n is not equal to negative 1. This is a special case that we'll cover in another video. Okay, let's say you want the indefinite integral of x to the 3 plus x squared. Here we can find the integral of each term separately. So the integral of x cubed is x to the 4 on 4, and x squared is x cubed on 3 plus c. This is because the indefinite integral of f of x plus or minus g of x with respect to x is equal to the integral of f of x dx plus or minus the integral of g of x dx. That's a plus or minus there. Um, and this is the same as when we differentiate when we have, you know, um, f of x, or I should say y, when we have y equal to f of x plus or minus g of x, then dy on dx is equal to the each function differentiated separately. So the same rule applies for integration. Let's say you want the indefinite integral of pt cubed plus q squared plus pr cubed with respect to t. It's important to pay attention to what you're integrating with respect to um, because even though we have unknowns here, p, q, and r, uh, we treat them as constants because we're integrating with respect to t. So here we are going to get pt to the power 4 on 4 plus q squared t. When we, have, when we don't have a t, we pretend there's a t to the power 0 here which is just 1, so we add 1 to that and we get t, and the last term is pr cubed t plus c. Uh, let's say you want indefinite integral of something like 2x plus 3 multiplied by square root x. Here it makes sense to expand the brackets, so 2x multiplied by the square root of x, you can think of as x times x to the half, which is 2x to the 3 on 2, and 3 times uh, x to the half is 3x to the power 1 half. And so now we can integrate each term separately. So this is when we add 1 to 3 on 2, that's 5 on 2, and then multiply by 2 on 5, that becomes 4 on 5x to the 5 on 2. And the second term, adding 1 to a half, becomes 3 on 2. So dividing by 3 on 2 is the same as multiplying by 2 on 3. Those threes would cancel, so we get uh, 2x to the 3 on 2 plus c. Let's do one more example. Let's say you have uh, the indefinite integral of uh, 2x plus 1 all squared divided by the square root of x with respect to x. Here you want to expand the brackets and then uh, separate the terms individually. So here, let's firstly expand the brackets. This will be 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 over the square root of x, which I'm going to write as x to the power of half. And then we want to divide each term by x to the half. So 4x squared divided by x to the half. Subtract the exponents, so we get 4x to the 3 on 2. 4x divided by x squared is 4x to the half. And then 1 over x to the half, I'm going to write as x to the power negative a half. Okay, so now we just uh, find the integral of each term separately. So adding 1 to 3 on 2 is 5 on 2. And then multiplying by 2 on 5, we get 8 on 5, x to the 5 on 2. Uh, plus 1 to a half is 3 on 2. Multiplied by 2 on 3, we get 8 on 3, x to the 3 on 2. 
and adding one to negative half gives us positive a half. Dividing by a half is the same as multiplying by two. So we get two x to the power of a half plus c for that final uh, indefinite integral there. Okay, so that was a brief video on uh, some basic indefinite integrals or antiderivatives. Uh, these are essentially the same. You might see some people saying that different, um, it's for our purposes, we can think of these as the same thing. If you're studying A-levels, I don't think we use the term antiderivatives, or at least I haven't seen it come up in any exams or anything, um, and you'll more likely see them referred to as indefinite integrals. Um, but if you do see people referring to antiderivatives, these, these are also uh, what they would be referring to. Uh, so there you go. Hope you found that video useful on some basic indefinite integral rules. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.